and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop in really quick and share some of the new things that are in my wardrobe. And some of these things I've worn, some of them I have not. Um, I know the next video was supposed to be trench coats or the jewelry video. I'm actually gonna combine some pieces of earrings in this video and we'll get back on track after this. But I kinda wanna show you these new things um, because I've, I'm so out of like whack with filming that some of the things I have that I received that I already returned and I didn't even get to show you guys why I didn't like them. But anyway, so if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep I have been promising this earring video forever. I still am missing a few pieces because I keep adding to the order. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you what I have and as they continue to come in, I will make additional videos, okay? So this one, I think I've showed you guys in a video because I wore them already. They're from Susan Kaplan. That's the name of the brand, but I got them off of Farfetch. And these are vintage inspired earrings. And this is like a, a really cool trend that I'm loving, you guys. So if you guys have like your old vintage earrings from the 80s and the 90s, um, the old clip-on ones or the old button ones, the ones that, remember like um, Diane Carroll used to wear from Dynasty or Joan Collins or whatever, those are totally in. The only thing is you're gonna wear them with your modern clothes, you know what I mean? You're gonna really make them, you're gonna juxtapose them, okay? So anyway, let me show you these, which I've showed you guys already. These right here are from Susan Kaplan. I love, love, love these earrings. Now, I wore them in the video where I did the fur coats. So yes, I had them on with the gray cardigan. I love, love, love these. These are really cool. They're nice, big, substantial. They're not extremely heavy. They are a clip-on. And this is like a nice quality metal. Like this is heavy. This is not heavy where your earlobe is going to be falling off, but it is a substantial weight, you know. Um, what I like about them is that they're clip-on. The only thing I didn't like is that they didn't have the little rubber piece in there. So they don't pinch, but I know how to adjust clip-on. So, and I have rubber pieces that I can take from other earrings and stick on there if it does bother me, but they haven't. And I've worn them several times. Um, I really like this. And this is like a really yellow gold, right? It's a big pearl and then it's got the black metal and then it's got like this braided um, gold around it. It kind of reminds you of the Givenchy earrings from, um, I want to say the 80s. If you look on the Real Real, because they have a lot of like name brand vintage earrings on there, um, you'll see something similar to this, I think by Givenchy. But these right here, I want to say, we're probably like a hundred bucks. Um, but I always get these like flash sales because I shop a lot on Far Farfetch. So if you shop a lot on Farfetch, you may be able to get it. But I know they have like these sign up um, percentage offs. And I know there are some um, influencers that work with Farfetch and they may have a code. So I would say Google a code first to see if you guys can get a percentage off. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. I have a couple more pairs that are coming from them and I can't wait. And when they do, I will um, show you guys. I want to say the shipping on these are kind of slow though, like pretty slow. Considering usually the things that I get from Farfetch ships are really, really fast, but these are coming from the UK and they are slow as molasses. Okay, so the next brand I bought is Heaven Mayhem. Okay, so the first pair that I got from Heaven Mayhem, I got off of Revolve, right? And I was kind of like just shopping on there for some stuff. And I came across these, right? And I was like, oh my God, I love these a lot. So I put an order in and I love them, right? So then I got curious and I saw that they had a lot of them on Revolve, but they were like pre-order and I didn't want to wait for the pre-order. So I went to the website itself and I made an order. So let me show you what I got. So they come in, like I said, when you get them from Heaven Mayhem, they come in a white box that has a pullout and it does say Heaven Mayhem on there. I'm going to do some cutaways so you guys can kind of see this up close because my light's going to blow this out. It also comes in a velvet pouch that says Heaven Mayhem. And what I like about this pouch is there's a divider in here. And so that each earring is in each section so that they don't scratch each other. Okay, so these are not a clip on. Um, these are actually a pierced. These are for pierced ears. These are substantial weight. Um, they don't drag the earlobe down though, so they're not that big. They're not that heavy. 
Um, they're a really yellow gold, and this has like an ecru color, like a cream. And then if you look on the inside, it, it has the initials HM, and then it just has a butterfly back on there. The post is, um, how do I say this? It's partial gold and then it's silver. So I think some of the dipping may have gotten on there and made the, the tip of it gold and then the rest of it is silver. I love the roping design that the gold is in. And I think these look just, they just look very luxurious, very quality made. I really, really like this. I think these are classy. I know you guys are like, why does she have two pair of the same earrings? But um, these are mine and then I ordered some gifts for people. So this is somebody's gift. Hopefully they're not watching this video. But anyway, these are really cool. Now the price of these are, they run around the same price as the Susan Capelin. So they're like a hundred bucks, 110 bucks a pair. But right now everybody's having sales. So you'll probably be able to get them for like 30. I think they had a Friday, a Black Friday sale, 30% off. And I believe it's still going on. You could get 30% off. So I think um, that you'd be able to get these on sale for like 60, 70 bucks. But they're, they're definitely, definitely. These are the next pair. These are silver and they kind of have this, almost seashell swirl around it. And I think these are really, really classy. Again, these are a post, they're not a clip on. And I'm gonna show clip cutaways and I'll show myself trying them on for you guys too. But these are really, really, really cool. I like these a lot. I have, you guys know I'm more partial to silver than I am to gold, but I mix metals all the time. So I wanted to get a nice, so I have a lot of gold already in my wardrobe. So I bought a little bit of gold, but I bought probably more silver than gold. But I like these a lot. These do come in gold and um, yeah, they do, they come in gold. And I think this is the only size. Some of the earrings will be, a, they'll have like a larger version and then a smaller version. And then some are just one size, but they come in different metals. So these are the ones that come in different metals. I think these look really good against your cashmere sweaters. I think they look really good against your button ups or they look good against a sexy shirt. Like you could take a really sexy sheer shirt and put something like this on and really, really make it pop, like make it really cool. And these are very shiny silver. And like I said, they're a nice weight. They're very much a nice weight and I love them. I think they're really, really cool. I will link these below for you. Now I know a lot of them will say sold out guys, but I think there's, I'm gonna look for places that have them because they do have, um, they're sold at more places than just um, their own website. So I'll look around for you guys or they'll say pre-order and ain't nobody got time to be waiting for them. Are on TikTok, you've probably seen these because once I think the ad that I saw was for this and then the very next pair that popped up were these. And I love these. These are like a mixed plate and they're like gold, but it's not a really yellow, yellowy gold. This is more of a, I don't know, kind of I want to say a brush gold and, but it's still shiny and then it has the silver with it. So it's a mixed metal and I like it. It's a nice, like I said, substantial earring that looks good. It would actually look good with this. This is cool. Um, hey, I might change. Yeah, I'm going out tonight, so I might change. But yes, I like these a lot. And again, they're post. They're not heavy, heavy where they're gonna drag you down. And I just think these are really cool. Guys, if you like to dig, right? If you're a person who likes to shop and you like to, the thrill of the hunt is for you, you can find really cool, true vintage pieces on Etsy. You could find them on eBay too. And they have tons of like earrings from the 80s if you don't already own them. Or you could go thrifting. And I know a lot of the vintage stores will sell a lot of that jewelry from that era. Okay? So those are the four pieces that I have. There are some vintage, I think Anthropology has like a section um, that they're selling vintage earrings on. I am going to pop up a few pictures of those and then I'll link those below. I think those are cool too. And then I just been like anywhere I can find like interesting statement earrings to kind of pull off a look. That's kind of what I've been going for. I actually was so. in Zara where I was on Zara's website and I picked up these, right? 
and these are just solid silver. So these were only $22.90. Now, I love Zara's earrings, but they turn. Like, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I was a huge Henry Bindo fan. And one thing that I loved about Henry Bindo was their jewelry because it didn't turn. It was quality. The backs on them were like quality made. And that's kind of how Heaven Mayhem is. And Susan Kaplan kind of reminds me of the Henry Bindo quality of jewelry. Now, this is definitely probably a couple steps up from Charm and Charlie. You know, it's not made bad or anything, as you can see. It's definitely a clip-on and a pierce. It's a piercing with the clip and a backing. So, because these are pretty big. They're not, there's a little bit of weight to them, I will say that. But these are very substantial. And I think these are really cool, like I said, to pull off certain looks and I like these and the price was a really really good price so I think if you want to get a really cool pair of statement earrings and you're into silver kind of the way that I am then I think these are a good buy but just remember Zara isn't probably gonna like my Henry Bendel jewelry some of them I've had over 10 years and they still look the same that they, they haven't turned they look the same I have a couple pair of pieces of earrings from Zara and they don't last like that i'm thinking maybe i have a gold pair and i want to say maybe i've had them for three years and one of them's not as gold as the other but luckily i can get by with just kind of only showing one earring because of my hairstyle but just take that into consideration but again these aren't 100 bucks if they were 100 bucks and doing that i probably wouldn't be making the purchase okay so the next thing is i have been you guys know i've been adding to my belt um so I've been kind of hunting around on different websites and looking to see the kind of belts that they have to offer and then if I could find a price that I'm comfortable with. So I got this belt actually from Zara and Zara's belts are not bad quality guys considering what the price is. And I want to say this price was probably maybe 35 bucks or something like that. So I got this one in a size 85. And I've already worn it. <laughs> and this is black leather and it has like this kind of um, weird shaped buckle. It's kind of square, but it's kind of like obtuse kind of looking. And I really, really like it. It's kind of a shiny black leather. And it's not thin and flimsy, guys. It's substantial. Like it's a really, really, really nice belt. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. And so it made me kind of like stand up and kind of pay attention to some of Zara's belts. There is another website that I have been looking at for their belt. Um, what is it called? Below the belt. I think it's called Below the Belt. I'll link it. Uh, I'll link it below. They have some pretty cool belt. I was just on Revolve, like looking at all the different belts, and I was like, "Cool!" I actually put an order in for the for the Below the Belt belt, and when it comes, I'll show you guys. But yeah, this is really, really cool. I like this a lot. And if you guys have like, you're kind of, if you got like basically all your pieces that you need, if you didn't really want to go shopping and you already had like your nice quality sweaters and your nice jeans that match your silhouette or your dress pants or whatever it is, and you wanted to kind of update, you wanted to kind of make your wardrobe look a little bit updated, you could really just buy some earrings, some belts, um and some different shoes and you could kind of really get by with that without really having to add a lot and that's kind of what i like about the trends that are going on right now or what's available to buy right now um you really can have an elevated look by just putting on quality made clothes you don't have to necessarily have a ten thousand dollar bag um and that just be the whole outfit you really can just kind of get a bag that speaks to you, that is a comfortable price range for you, whether it be $10, $5, $5, whatever. Um, and then you can just invest your money in quality pieces of clothing, quality fabrics, make sure the fit is right. And you can really achieve that same polished, put together, classy status look that you get from having that logo piece that we used to kind of rely on so much. So let me show you that one. And this one is my favorite. I love leopard. You guys know I love leopard. So I got this one. And it's kind of like pony hair. 
and it has like besides my hair being on it it has like studs and some stones on it and it's really sparkly it's western looking you guys know i love western and i want to say the size i got was 90. i bought a 90 in this one so yeah i like this one a lot and i think this is really really cool so yes I will try it on so you guys can see it, but yeah, this is really cool. I have some leopard um, mules that I think would be cool with this. And even if I just wanna wear black Western boots or whatever. Okay, so on. I have some gray dress pants from, I can't remember, are they from J. Crew? They might be from Banana Republic, but um, they're not really fitting me the way that I want them to fit because they're kind of old and I haven't really tailored them and I had just been wearing them as big. But sometimes, like I said, when you're wearing sizes, when you're in that middle size range and you're trying to do oversize, it doesn't really translate well on my body. It makes me look 80 pounds heavier. <laughs> so I try to like, try to balance it out so that I can have um, a symmetrical shape. So anyway, I went to Aritzia and I got these. These are the Effortless Pants, um, which are the full length, high rise, wide leg, and I got them in a size 10. And these are super cool. They're kind of like a flannel, they feel like wool, like flannel wool material. Let me tell you what the material is. Yep, they're 90% wool, 8% cashmere, 2% elastane. So yeah, these are really quality made. I like these a lot. I am probably going to buy the jacket to it, the blazer to it. And yeah, I'm probably gonna buy the blazer to it so that I can have it as a complete set. I'm just not in a real big rush to do it because I like, you know, mixing and matching the pieces together. But yeah, these are really, really cool. These are nice. And I'm actually gonna look on there and see if they have these in black. Um, this is my favorite style of dress pant. I don't wanna buy a ton of stuff right now in a 10 because I really want my true size to be a six. And I've already like discussed with my tailor that he can comfortably take pants down two sizes. And if I buy something that I'm going to use, then he can take them down two sizes. And to be honest, what'll happen is my hips will be a six before my waist is. So I'll probably still need to buy an eight and then have the rest kind of taken in so that it'll fit my body right. Because like I said, my, my waist is wider than my hips or, you know, I have a big waist. I should just put it that way. But yeah, these are cool and they look really, really, really good. And you guys know, I have been looking for full leather pants and I already wore these like a few times. <laughs> so that's why they're wrinkle. These I got from J. Crew guys, and these are in a size 29. I'll pop up a picture because I wore them with um, the Rizzo jacket from Kate with the studs on it. I love, 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 love. And I love these, okay? So these are the fit that I was looking for because I ended up taking the Gap ones back because they didn't, they, they kind of looked cheap when I watched the video back and these did not. I went in the fitting room and I just kind of fell in love with them. And they're kind of that fit that I need for my shape, guys. So they hug around my hip area and then they kind of come out a little bit so that they give me some curves so that, you know, it balances out my silhouette. It's a wider leg and it's not super long though. It is slightly cropped. I have short legs. So on someone who's uh, measurements are much more proportional like my height is up at the top so pants tend to come down longer on me just because I have short legs but yeah they're still slightly cropped on me and I love these I love these a lot I want to say I think these came in brown if they did I'm definitely going to buy them I'm gonna wait though because I'm gonna wait till like the end of the clearance and if they're there after Christmas then I'll get them because it's not anything that I need right away.
but I like these. I like these a lot. And I kind of looked around for, um, I even was looking in Zara for some faux leather pants that I thought was like, you know, good, that looked well on me. And the Zara ones were not finished at the bottom. I was like, they just cut them and left it raw, like a raw hem. And I was like, nah, I'm good. And these had everything. Like they had, they were set up just like denim, five pocket, um, nice zipper, button was nice. The stitching was nice. There wasn't any loose threads. The hem was neat. It was a nice, neat hem. And it wasn't like, you know, how that goes sometimes. So yeah. And I will say, I was in J. Crew for their huge sale, and I was looking at their cashmere sweaters, and they had this beautiful, like, fair all cardigan sweaters that had the jewel buttons, and I'm going to pop a picture up of what I'm talking about, guys. Um, I was so disappointed in the quality of them, and I could see, because in the beginning, they were like a hundred and something dollars, and then they marked them all the way down to 60 or 70 percent, so I guess they probably had a lot of pushback on the quality being bad. The buttons were so heavy that they kind of like pulled at the fabric and flopped around on it. And the cashmere was just so thin, it was just stitched improperly. And then they had um, a couple of other sweaters that were just, they weren't, they were just kind of a rush job made. But then I went through and looked at their pants and they were like impeccably made. Like a lot of their like tailored trousers and stuff, I was so like impressed with. And then what else did I like? I think I liked one of their barn coats, but again, I'm just gonna wait until after the holidays. And if it's still there and I still want it, I'll wait until it's like all the way marked down because it's I don't need another damn coat to be honest, but I do want one of those like barn coats. I'll pop a picture up of that. I think that was quality made, but I just think that we've come to a time now where it used to be that you could be trusting of a brand to kind of deliver a certain level of quality. And I think that time's gone, guys. I think we're at the point now where you really got to inspect each piece, you know, that you're paying your money for. Because I want to say these were like 150 bucks, which I don't mind paying for if they're going to be quality. I just don't want to pay 150 bucks and it's garbage, you know. So, yeah, I like these a lot. Okay, guys. So... Let me tell you about these. These are from Zara and they feel like a really heavy, heavy satin, like a really heavy, heavy, and they're a wide leg and they have this like stitchy here at the bottom, almost as if this is a cuff. So it's very long pants and look at these pleats, the way they're made on this. This pant is, gorgeous once i laid eyes on it i was like oh yes and you know this to me is a dupe of a pair of pants it's on the cape website and you guys know i'm forever trying to dupe cape um and these were a pretty penny for zara they were 109 dollars. i got them in a large which i think is a size what did they say it was a size 30 in mexico i guess they come up to an extra large so what is the fabric? It's probably polyester or something, but it feels like a nice quality satin. I'm not, I can't find it. Yeah, I don't see the, oh wait, here it is. Yeah, these are definitely 100% polyester. However, they look gorgeous. This is the one time that I don't mind giving somebody $100 for some polyester, because these are, these is bad as hell. I really, really, really like this. The way they lay on the body, it, it's just gorgeous. Now these come in black, but I don't think they're a satin. I think they are a different material, but still a heavy weighted material because they're a hundred bucks too. They're in my cart. I'm going to buy them. You know, you can, certain things are Zara, you just can't wait for, right? You just, because it sells out so fast and maybe it'll replenish and maybe it won't. So this is something definitely I'm going to keep or something definitely I'm going to buy the other pair in because these are forever pants for me. And again, I could wear these now. I could wear these in the spring and summer. I could wear these in the fall. I'll just change whatever the top part that I have on, you know? But yeah, I love these. And I love the way they drape the wide leg. I think these are fabulous. I was on Zara. And you guys know, there was a cardigan that I wanted from Jenny Kane that kind of went in at the waist, right? So I saw this and this was kind of a do for it. Now on Jenny Kane, it's like 500 bucks, right? But it's a 
nice quality material, right? So I was like, and Jenny Kane, I guess, was sold out of it, which they now have it in stock for a higher price. When it was out of stock, it was $4.95 or $4.75 or something like that. Now it's like $5.50. I think, I think it went up like 75 bucks. But um, anyway, so I saw this one on Zara and I went ahead and put the order in, right? Now this one is a little too tight across my bust, right? And it's kind of got like frayed um, stitching here around the button. So the largest it comes in is a large, so it doesn't go any larger than this. But again, I think I'm probably like 10 pounds away from it fitting all the way. So I'm thinking I'm going to exchange it to see if I can find one where the stitching is better here around the button. It's not fraying, but I do like the sweater. It's $109 and it's 100% wool. So the fabric is not bad, guys. And I'm going to maybe take it to my um, tailor if I can't find another one because I know they were selling out tremendously because it curves on me it's just around the breast because you guys know i have like fuller breast so around there it kind of hugs more but like i said i think in a few pounds i would be fine and i'm forever buying too big and i kind of like how this is fitted i like this so either way it goes i'm gonna keep it or get one that's fixed so yeah i think this is definitely a good buy i like this a lot i think this is so cool me and that damn totem uh, jacket. My husband says, do you really want it or is it because you see it all the time? And so I kind of asked myself, I'm like, well, maybe it's because I'm seeing it all the time and I do like the style of it, right? So I put it in my cart <laughs> and I found a color that I really liked too. I put it in my cart and I didn't cash out on it, right? And I was on Zara and this popped up, right? And so you guys know I had that gray one that had the scarf attached and I returned that one. And the reason why I returned it was because I was still wanting the totem when I looked at it, it didn't satisfy me. It didn't have like real sleeves and pockets and everything the other one had, the other, everything that the totem one had because the totem one was a real coat. That was just kind of like a styling piece. Like I would look cute in it, but it wouldn't really be an outerwear piece, right? Now this one on the other hand, I feel like is an outerwear piece. I feel like I can put shirts underneath this. I feel like I can put, um, like I can do a denim button up. I could do a turtleneck. I could do a, you know, a thinner sweater underneath, you know, or even a thicker, this one runs kind of big. Um, this one has the pockets to it, right? And it has the buttons. It's a nice long length, right? This one, is I want to say the fabric is probably it's probably acrylic or something. Let me see. Yeah, this is actually polyester. So, but it's heavy though. So I feel like normally polyester doesn't keep you really warm, but this whatever polyester this is, this is this feels like it's warm. When I tried it on, I was a little hot in it. Now this runs kind of big, and I got it in a large right? But I was going to exchange it and get a medium, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep it in the large. Um, I like this kind of like oatmeal, taupey color. Um, it's not, it's not bad quality. It's just not best. But again, it's only $139. And this is, like I said, has some weight to it. I like the style behind it. I like the length because it comes down and then I love the fact that it comes with the scarf and the scarf is detachable, right? So I could take this scarf and I could just wear it with a sweater or I could take it and put it on a different coat or whatever. Um, it doesn't have, like the other one had like a, a loop that you could connect it and it was sewed on. This one doesn't. So this one, you know, when you're putting it on here and styling it on here, you're just doing it on your own. And if it's going to slide off, maybe you're going to have to keep it on yourself. So, but it's still a really, really nice, cool piece. I think this is really chic and I'm going to love this. Like I said, with my denim or with my dress pants, I think I'm totally going to do it with like cream dress pants. Um, does it go with gray? Mm, probably not, but I would do it with like brown or cream or white. Um, probably tan like that. I think that would be really nice with it. 
I guess it could go with gray, but it would probably have to be a darker gray. Yeah, the lighter gray I don't like it with, but the darker gray, I think a darker gray it would look nice with. But yeah, this is a piece that I'm definitely, I'm keeping this one. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna do, I haven't videotaped myself in any of this stuff. So I will make notes on the try on part, cause y'all know that once I try on, if I'm not feeling it, I'm running it back. And this is all a part of me learning how to restyle myself. I used to be a person who I really did returns. I knew my size, I knew it looked good on me, but right now while I'm in this weird state, I've been doing, I've been the return queen because I will run your stuff right back to you if it doesn't look good or I don't feel like it's giving me what I think it needs to give me. And I'm, I'm on the hunt for things that make me feel good, things that I want to wear, things that are easy to grab, you know? So I, um, I'm going to give this a shot and we will find out. All right. So that's everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.